Uh, well, uh, very good afternoon, uh, dear children. Uh, let us uh, continue with the topic of differential equations. This time, I would be now winding up differential equations with uh, uh, taking up the topic of solving differential equations. In fact, uh, let me remind you my previous session wherein I have explained you about uh, solution of a differential equation. How many types of solutions do we have in differential equations? There are two types of uh, solutions. One is, uh, uh, one is general solution and the second one is particular solution. What is general solution and particular solution? I have already explained. So, if you want, you can revise yourself with the previous session so you understand them. So, now let me start with uh, solving differential equations and to arrive at the so general solutions. So, how many, uh, in order to solve a differential equation, we have basically three different methods in the present CBSE syllabus. Number one, we have got variables separable to homogeneous homogeneous differential equation method. Third, first order linear differential equations. We will be solving all these three uh, in due course of time. Well, let me begin with variable separable. What is variable separable method? Dear children, you can understand the very title variables separable. It means you will be given a differential equation and uh, you will have to uh, you to solve this problem. What exactly you are going to do is that you are going to separate x and dx, y and dy terms provided they are separable. After having separated both, you will go for direct complete integration in order to arrive at general solution. First, you always get general solution. Then after having applied the initial value conditions given, you will get particular solution. Let us begin the first problem. It is e power x tan y dx plus 1 minus e power x second square y dy is equal to 0. Now, interestingly, when I am supposed to solve this problem using the first method, first look for the differential equation given and verify is it in the standard form or not. No, it is not in the standard form. So, you have to convert this into standard form first of all. What is the process? First of all, send this term to the right side so that it becomes e power 1 minus e power x second square y dy is equal to it becomes minus e power x tan x sorry tan y dx. Then what I do now? I bring dx dx to the left side. You get this second square y dy upon dx along with tan y because uh, sorry extreme, ex extremely sorry. Here what I am going to do first of all I am going to put it in the standard form dy by dx is equal to what it is going to be minus e power x tan y upon 1 minus e power x second square y. This is what we call standard form. You should always arrive at the standard form. Now to understand which are the terms to be separated to dy, which are the terms to be separated for dx. This term and this term will be now coming to the left side because I am keeping dy the left side and x will be going to the right side. You might as well think sir why you are bringing uh, y terms to the left side and x terms to the right side. It is very simple because every function is y is equal to f of x. So, the basic fundamental is that y should always be equal to the function in the form of x. So, I will be now trying to bring in that particular format. It is going to be second square y dy upon tan y is equal to uh, minus e power x upon 1 minus e power x here dx. Now, after having separated x and y terms, go for direct integration. I told you already that complete integration of differential equation will give you the solution. So, now here this particular integral let tan y is equal to t. What happens? Second square y dy is equal to dt. Thus, I will be substituting it here. Integration dt upon t is equal to, here let me come to this particular part. 
let 1 minus e power x is equal to say some phi. Thus, uh, differentiating both sides with respect to phi, what you are going to get minus e power dx is equal to d phi. So, I will again substitute here in this equation, uh, the net uh, outcome is going to be, net outcome is going to be like this, d t upon t integration is equal to minus e power x dx is d phi upon phi integration, this is log t is equal to log phi plus c, this is a constant of integration falling on the independent, independent variable part. Now, what I am going to do dears, here log t is equal to log phi, I will write this as some log k, I told you already many times that where the constant you write in the form of log k or keep it as c, it is a constant, it does not have any significance as such. So, now by purpose by writing in this way, what has happened here, log t is equal to you get log k phi. So, log and log by taking exponentials on both sides, you get t is equal to k phi. Now, what was t? t is equal to tan y, you got tan y is equal to k into uh, phi, phi what, what was assumed? 1 minus e power x, this is the general solution, why it is called general solution? The main reason is that the k presence makes it as a general solution. If you have any numerical value, numerical value for k, then it is called permanent solution or particular solution. Well, I will be taking now another problem from the same topic, here it is going to be initial value condition. So, solve, solve x into x square minus 1 dy by dx is equal to 1 and uh, given y is equal to 0 when x is equal to 2. It is quite an interesting problem when the conditions are given in the previous problem it was not there. Now, it is there that means you will be getting here general solution as well as particular solution. Look at how am I going to do that. First of all put the differential equation into the standard form. Standard form will always have in this format that is x into x square minus 1. Now, I write this one as 1 upon x into x minus 1 into x plus 1. What it is going to be like? Uh, so, it is dy is equal to separation dx upon x into x minus 1 into x plus 1 integration. Now, after having separated y terms and uh, x terms, now I got a standard position that I am going to integrate both sides. Uh, this is, uh, this seem to be per question of partial fractions which you have already learned indefinite integration. So, now first I will be taking that expression x into x minus 1, x plus 1 that is a by x plus b by x minus 1 plus c upon x plus 1 that is 1 is equal to a into x square minus 1 plus b uh, x square plus x plus c it is going to be x square minus x. In fact, I have simplified and I have put after simplify I mean after taking the LCM you can also try in this manner. So, you take let x is equal to 0 what happens? It is going to be 1 because on left side you do not have a 0, uh, you do not have x term. So, here it is going to be minus a plus it is going to be 0 and it is going to be also 0. So, my a is equal to minus 1. I have got my first value that is a. Now, I shall be finding out uh, the remaining two values. Let x is equal to 1 why I am taking, how am I choosing, because this term does not have any connectivity, so it x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, that makes it 0 and x is equal to minus 1, I would be taking as the last and last and final option. So, x is equal to 1, if I take, what happens, watch carefully, 1 is equal to, again the same equation, a into 1 square minus 1, it is going to be 0 plus, it is going to be 2b plus and it is going to be 0. So, b is equal to half. Similarly, if you take x is equal to minus 1, you will get c is equal to minus half. Uh, I think I, it is uh, minus 1 means yes, of course, minus uh, uh, that is 1, 0, this is uh, 0 and it is going to be 1 plus 1, 2 c, that is going to be, I am sorry, it is half, it is going to be plus half. Now, I will be taking all those values in this expression and directly I will find out, put it as a first equation and the second equation, here I will directly substitute in the second equation, it is going to be dx upon uh, x into x, mi x minus 1 into x plus 1 
is equal to a being minus 1, I will take minus 1 out and integration 1 upon x dx plus uh, b being 1 by 2, then it is going to be 1 by 2 integration dx upon x minus 1 because x minus 1 is a factor down and it is half integrate dx upon x plus 1. It is minus log x, it is half log x minus 1 plus half log x plus 1 and plus c I will be taking now. What exactly it is going to be on the, uh, this is the uh, third equation I will take third equation value I will put it in the first equation because uh, it the uh, right hand side of the expression I have already got it 3 in 1 will make it 3 in 1 will make what y is equal to y is equal to it is going to be uh, minus log x plus half log x minus 1 plus half log x plus 2 sorry x plus 1 plus c. Now, I will directly substitute this is called general solution, this is called general solution. Now, I want particular solution because he has given the condition, this is called initial value condition. This initial value condition I will be substituting here what I am going to get y is equal to 0 and uh, when x is equal to 2 that is minus log 2 plus half log 2 minus 1 is 1 plus half log uh, it is going to be 3 plus c. Now, further what it is going to be like uh, where it is only a simplification, the simplification how I we shall be doing it, it is 0 is equal to minus log 2 could be written as log 1 by 2 plus because uh, log m to the power of n structure n log m and it is going to be 0 because log 1 is 0, it is 0 going to be and half log 3, half log 3 can also be written as log root 3 plus c. Now, here these two together appears to be log m plus log n, log m plus log n will be log m n that is root 3 into 1 by 2 is 1 root 3 by 2 plus c. I take this to the right side then I get minus log root 3 by 2 minus if I send it inside it is going to be 2 by root 3 thus c value I will substitute in my fourth equation what is called general solution. So, this is 5. Uh, 5 in 4 implies y is equal to minus log x plus half log x minus 1 plus half log x plus 1 plus log 2 by root 3. Further all being log you can simplify this and you get the answer required. Well, now we have, we have understood now variable separable, now we shall be moving on to homogeneous. Dear students, what homogeneous differential equations? Here, let me first explain you the word homogeneous. Homogeneous means in any function, say for example, f of x y is equal to y square plus 2 x y. What is that you are finding here? This particular term has power 2. This term also has a degree 1 plus 1, it is 2. That means both the terms have got the 2 power that means all the terms have the same power. This nature is called homogeneous. For example, if you have a function it is f of x y is equal to y cube plus 2 x square y plus uh, 4 x y cube. Now, this is not a homogeneous differential equation, homogeneous equation. Why is it? It is power 3, it is power 3 because 2 plus 1 and it is 3 plus 1, 4. This is not a homogeneous, not a homogeneous function. So, please remember to be homogeneous, the terms involved in the function which is uh, implicit of x and y shall have, shall bear same degree, degree of the degree terms. Therefore, in such a case only we call it as a homogeneous. If any differential equation has homogeneous functions, part of it, then we call it as homogeneous differential equation. This is a very simple and layman language I, I could explain you. But friends, if you want to know exactly what a homogeneous differential equation as per differential equation mathematically, I would explain you in a very simple way that is a function f of x y, a function f of x y is called, 
sorry it is dy by dx is equal to is called homogeneous differential equation if and only if the f of lambda x comma lambda x shall be equal to lambda to the power of n into x comma f of x comma y. See the definition which I have written, it may not be helping you to know what exactly I am trying to explain you. Here I will take a small example which I had already taken. Watch carefully. f of x comma y is equal to y square plus 2xy. Like uh, suppose the differential equation given to you is that uh, dy by dx is equal to y square plus 2xy. Uh, Now this particular differential equation has this function. You take that function out and take find out lambda x and lambda y what it is going to be lambda square x square sorry lambda square y square plus 2 lambda x lambda y is lambda square x y you take out lambda square out y square plus x y here in this case what has happened the function which is given if it is of nth degree then the nth power should be coming out of the function it is lambda square here in this case lambda square f of x comma y that means this function is actually called homogeneous different homogeneous equation when this function combines with the derivative differential equation then it is called homogeneous differential equation now i shall give you one more example supposing that f of x comma y is equal to sin x plus cos y Interestingly, you take f of uh, uh, lambda x comma lambda y, then it is going to be sin lambda x plus cos lambda y. Now you do whatever you want, you can't take out the lambda out of this function. That means you can't write it as a lambda sin x plus cos y, you can't write it. Therefore, such kind of functions cannot be homogeneous. Supposing that if this kind, this function is connected as a dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y, then such a case it is not a homogeneous differential equation. So, all said and done, whatever I have explained, this is mathematical indication of the homogeneous differential equation. But very interestingly, when you intend to apply the problems, I mean solving the problems, you have altogether different structure. Dear children, now I will be taking up a problem. Before I take a problem, I want to tell you one thing. In the homogeneous differential equations topic, you come across quite often two types of problems. Please remember type 1 and type 2. You might as well think, sir, uh, what is this type 1 and type 2? Type 1 functions are algebraic in nature. Please remember type 2 are transcendental transcendental functions now i would be taking for each one one example and explain you what is a transcendental function and what is an algebraic function what is type 1 and type 2 and how to go about them so first instant i am taking type 1 so type 1 is algebraic where algebraic function is seen that is algebraic function Say x square plus xy dy is equal.